In this next lesson, we'll be looking at more of the shapes that are available in Mastercam. We're going to be doing a polygon shape on this part. We'll create the polygon, actually in this case five-sided, a pentagon, and we will extrude it across the length that they specify on the print. We have two holes on the end that go all the way through and they're counterboard. Then we have some holes that move around the outside of this part. There's one on the top face, there's two on a tilted front face, and there's two on a tilted back face. Now this part lends itself very nicely to doing an A-axis indexing on a vertical machine. So we're going to look at it in those terms about how we might set the planes for A-axis indexing. Now if you're looking at the workbook, the first image on the top shows the orientation that you would expect to see this on our table, an isometric view for A-axis indexing. So we're going to start by drawing this through the right side view. So in Mastercam, I'm going to right click my mouse. I'm going to go to a right side view. That automatically set my plane to the right side. And we're going to our pull down for shapes. And we are going to select the polygon option. Well, the first thing we want to change here is the number of sides. Ours has five sides. And according to our print, this polygon fits inside of a 4-inch diameter. Well, here it's asking for a radius. So I'll say 4 divided by 2. So we have a 2-inch radius for our polygon. And it wants us to select the base point. And I'm going to click on the origin. So there's our polygon. But our polygon is supposed to be inside the circle. So here we can select whether it's calculated to the corners or to the flats. Ours will be calculated to the corners. Now there's an arrow here where we can expand this dialog box. In here there's a few other things that we can control. Now on our print it says that the corner radius is a half inch in five places. So I can tell it here 0.5 and it puts a radius on the corners. The other thing is if you look at our polygon, the peak is at the top, where in the drawing, the flat is at the top. Now I could rotate this half the distance of one of these, or I can tell it here to rotate this 180 degrees and just flip the whole thing over. Some other options, we could put a point at the center, or we could tell it to create this as a surface, neither of which we need right now. So I'm just going to say OK to this. And there's our polygon. Next, we need to put in some circles on this side to represent the holes and the counterboard holes. So for that, we're going to go to Create Circle Center Point. Our diameter for this hole is 0.625. So I'll key in that value and then press Enter. Now I'm going to lock that value in place. And I'm going to press Enter one more time because the next thing I'm going to do is specify the XY location. And I don't want the X to show up in this box. So now I can say X0, Y, 0.5, and it puts the hole at that location. The next hole is at X0, Y, minus 0.6, and there we have that one. For our counterboard holes, I'm just going to click the center of one of these and then change the diameter to 1 inch. And we'll do the same here and we'll OK that. So now we have the basic geometry to construct the solid model for this part. I'm going to right click and go to an isometric view. We'll go to Solids, Extrude, I'll pick my chain, and I'm also going to pick the center hole because the center hole goes all the way through. We'll OK this, and we'll give this a name and I'll call it Main Body Extrude. We're extruding this a distance of 6 inches, so you may have to flip your direction and set your value there. And once you've got it set, we're just going to say OK and create a new operation. Because now we need to do the counterbores. So I'll pick both of these counterbores, 
Okay, that. And for my name, I'll say counterbore through holes. I'm creating a cut body. The distance, according to our print, is 0.125. And I'll need to reverse that direction. And we'll OK that. So now we have our main block with our holes that go all the way through and our counterbores.